the police cannot stop us. Drusky indirectly insulted Nigeria. How? Guys, I want you to carefully look at this title right here. African scammers be living their best life. A snippet. Bank of America. How may I direct you, Paul? Hello. I'ma play a full video for you soon, but hold on, hold on. It started as a harmless joke. But the story is far more deeper than you think. It goes far back to one of the arch enemies of the world, the FBI. The middle of the year, June 2020, was where Drewski got his idea from because something happened. A lot of people know what happened in Dubai that year at that time. It was a big news in Nigeria and the world. Something that Nigeria is trying to avoid. Now keep this part in your mind, we are going to come back to it. It was the night of October 2024 and Drewski made an announcement that he was going to be coming to Nigeria. I mean, it was big news, could have been records, could have been a little empathetic, don't you think? And you know Nigerians are very hospitable, see, uh, forget what they say, trust me, they get the best people to host you, constant security 24-7, personal policeman, I mean you saw what happened with Kai Sena, so Nigeria didn't come here to play. Juski finally landed in Nigeria, it was a blast, Nigeria we here baby, immediately linked up with the big boys like Davido. <laughs> Like, make sure you get my and see, if Drewski is hanging out with Davido, his Nigeria is sorted. Trust me. So we thought, now listen carefully here. So we thought that Drewski had our best interests at heart. <laughs> no, 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 no. We were mistaken. He had his own interests. Here's how it played out. Drewski posted his usual skit on the 20th of October. 20th of October? Oh my goodness. Now listen. First of all, that is a very, 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 very bad day to post this, especially to Nigerians. Secondly, um, uh, Drewski is getting cooked. No, like cooked, cooked <laughs> for real. The reason, guys, I want you to carefully watch this skit right here. I'ma just let it play, then we discuss. Yeah, the police cannot stop us. They cannot stop us. Today, how far? The check did not clear. One hundred eighty thousand dollars. Where's the money? The money is not available. The money they say the money did not go. Bro, you have to check the stuff, man. Check the wire, everything. It did not go through, bro. I'm in with Bank of America. How may I direct you, Paul? Hello. Uh, this is Nicholas White. I want to check the account. Man, I got a lot to say, man. Answer a couple questions to verify this account. I'll start. Uh, no, no, no. This is Nicholas White. I want to open the account. Okay, sir. At this time, I'm I'm unable to verify this account. And will be oh. To be honest, this joke breaked. Well, Nigerians give it back to him. Moving forward to the fraud departments. Half hour. Guys, remember this particular side. I'm gonna come back to it. Yes, boss. I have money. I have money. Gucci for your body, baby. We will eat the money. We will eat the money. What do we do money? What do we do money? Um, a, a few people got arrested for that. Um, I'll try this one, sir. I'll try this one. City National. City National. There's money in that account. This one is not Let me call my bank now. The account! When you put the money in the account, that. <laughs> okay, okay. That was a harmless joke, right? <laughs> no. It all boils down to one word perception. Drewski, uh, first of all, you might want to read this. Yeah, bestseller. 20th of October is a date that Nigerians are never ever going to forget, especially because of what happened. Now, you see this? Yeah, something like that. So first of all, they are in their fields, I mean, highly sensitive. So this particular joke um, comes off somewhere to them already. Not because of the joke itself, no, 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 but because of how this joke 
further emphasizes the stereotypes placed on Nigeria. That they are scammers. Um, like, come on, man. You might tell me, hey, you control that. I mean, it's just a joke. It's just, I, I do understand. It, it's a joke, man. I, I mean, I troll a lot. But look at it this way. You know, having this um, has already given you a bad start to life <laughs> as compared to this. Like, I'm, I'm not even trolling or anything. Like, legit. Now, imagine that someone doesn't know about Nigerians and then they see this. Oops. It makes it much more difficult for legit Nigerians. You get me. How far now? Yes. I ain't gonna lie. That notification joke was a good one. Hey, hey, Drewski, hey. That, that was a good one. Hey. Speaking of that scene, now this is where the whole idea of the skit came from. From one Nigerian man that had a problem with the FBI. And his name was Hash Papi. In the middle of the year, June 2020, he was arrested in Dubai. The news spread so much that the only thing some Americans know about Nigeria is Hash Papi. Yeah, but that guy was a baller though. I'm here for a good time, not a long time, you know why? <laughs> Nigeria has every right to be upset, if you put it in that way. It makes it much more difficult to prove yourself. Do you want to know a little secret? I'm Ghanaian. Yes. But the funny thing is that I've worked with Nigerians my whole life. My partner who helps me with my videos is Nigerian. When I began playing the piano, my first actual band was basically Nigerian. By the way, I dropped a music lesson and piano course. If you are interested in learning how to play the piano, or learning music, the link will be in the description. My dad studied in Nigeria, the late King Benin Nahuza's church, Benin City. And my... It, it was taken by... You know what, that, that's too much information, but, 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 but you get my point. So I basically feel some way when they are portrayed in a bad light like that. Then again, then again, I'm a comedian, kinda. And comedians don't apologize. And also, if a Nigerian made this joke, um, which I've seen countless number of times, um, everyone would have laughed. So, um, uh, I'm torn. Which brings me to one conclusion. It's not the joke, but the messenger. Also, there's one last thing I want to say to Americans. Uh, I just want to educate you guys a bit. Don't take it too hard. We Africans can tell when your African accent is fake. And we don't speak like that. So it makes the jokes not really hit us or make us laugh like that. It's like, um, uh, okay. See, I like Drewski. I love everything about Drewski. Everything, but I'm just saying that African accent wasn't really, you know, hit us. So I was making the jokes a little bit, um, so my thoughts about this whole thing, some Nigerians are pissed, pissed, pissed. And when they are pissed like that and they come to your comment section, oh my goodness, pray, pray. So they are going to squeeze Drewski dry until he takes that video down. But looking at his structure, it's going to take a while. Georgia, by the way you look